Welcome all. Welcome back down to the basement. We're back after a long hiatus down to do once again something old is now V2'd. Uh, let's get to it. Ready to go. See right there? It says Sim Labs. Sim Lab, whatever they're going by these days. Anyway, by V2, I mean this is a running change, I guess. I bought one of these previously from the micro center uh, and I wanted to buy another one uh, for a long time and I finally came across them again and I saw like the revision I'm like all right cool I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, show it off to the channel help out everyone else to understand what the difference is and to watch out for to make sure you get the right one versus the wrong one unless you don't need the right one and the wrong one's right for you which you know happens sometimes blah 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 so this was actually on discount at micro center because i decided to go uh on a chance for the uh open box get my butts out of the way here so with the revision like i said i already have one of these and uh i really like it uh, uh it helps bridge the gap between our younger player uh so they can get a hold of uh you know the steering wheel and the pedals and uh comfortable manner and then you know also taller players and stuff like that which is uh helpful and whatnot so some hardware so for this one like i said it comes with a big old plate that's standard just like the original mounting position for every type of pedal uh, pedals with kick plates, uh, pedals without kick plates. Mind you that, we'll keep going here. So we'll put that off to the side. Countersunk, so it goes into the plates uh, or the tracks for the sliders. And uh, it's totally flush mounted when you're done. Probably places to put uh, brake controllers and stuff like that and other different kind of pedal uh, apparatuses and whatnot. Out of the way, big old donkey plate. I did this product before, like I said, a long time ago. So here's the V2 part, heel plate. So a lot of uh, some pedals don't come with this. Pedals we've done on the channels, in particular, like the Hussfeld uh, pedal. We haven't done that proper, but uh, that's a pedal that we know we have. Uh, the VRS pedal does not come with a heel plate or, or uh, a mounting position whatsoever. It relies on you having that already. So uh, this is a good option, like I said, to bridge gap between like smaller players or younger players, uh, taller players and shorter players. So more than one user can uh, enjoy uh, sim racing. You know, this combined with like a seat slide or two, you can do a lot of different positions. Like as far as uh, I'll show you on the mounted one, like Formula One position versus uh, GT position and like, you know, the possibilities are really endless and uh you know as far as the configurations are concerned with this and uh, i i use it a lot on my uh my first rig which i converted over to just kind of doing a lot of different stuff and uh you know training and uh playstation and trucking and rallying and all that other stuff as opposed to just my main rig where i just do me and only me on i racing so let's take a look at some other stuff and some other configurations and uh what makes it different and uh, in comparison. Before we uh, take a look at it mounted and whatnot, I wanna show you all the different hardware packs you get. You'll get a heel rest kit, which has height adjustment spacers, uh, also the other hardware and whatnot for uh, whatever mounting you're doing. Uh, the base slider kit, which are these here. They come with a nice, uh, looks like a decent or different actually maybe uh, sliders. So you put this on your base or your rig or whatever, you'll be able to put that in there in the configuration you want. You might have to bend this a little bit uh, to get it to meet these uh, pinch points so you can hit the slider and adjust it. But then you've got all the different hardwares and stuff like that for that. And probably some extra too, because SimLabs usually does that. Plus, they give you a sticker and all that other stuff, and it's all in there. So never be afraid of a Micro Center open box. So here is our assembled rig. 
uh, with our assembled pedal slider. And I'll explain to you some of the different configurations I referenced uh, previously in the video. So this rig is a, uh, a convertible, I guess. Uh, it's from JCL when it was originally purchased, but a lot of rigs are like this where they'll have a uh, pedal tray that you can adjust the height and the angle. So with this rig, you could possibly do, and uh, what I was planning on maybe doing is flipping it around so I could tilt it downward pretty easily. And then I could slide it up and, and down basically, cause it will be on like a, an angle like this. And then uh, it will give you that F1 position because you can move the, you know, back and forth on the slider here pretty easily once you've got it installed. And then uh, you'll have the lower position would be like a GT. And then the upper position, because it's on the angle from here to there, uh, would be uh, the F1 style. And then you adjust with your seat too, because uh, you have a slider on the other side of, of that as well. But for this particular slider, the, the SimLabs uh, pedal slider kit, this is the original actually. Uh, but the new one is now V2. It's like a running uh, change. It comes with this kick plate which is really handy. Uh, if you don't have one for say, like I, I referenced earlier, like a VRS or a Hoosfeld or whatever, uh, and it will allow you to just mount them on whatever plate like it comes with. It's plenty of mounting positions for any uh, configuration of pedal. I've had uh, uh, Fanatec V3Is on here. I've had uh, the CSLP load cell kit on here and uh, it works great and uh, the kiddos get to use it and uh, gets the pedals up nice and tight for them with like the pedal slider too you can accommodate just about any style of driving as well so highly uh, uh, recommended upgrade here you have finished product of our SimLabs V2 uh, pedal slider just like I said it's a lot like the V1 identical Sparco slider, uh, big thick base with all types of slots and holes uh, to mount just about every pedal you could ask for. Uh, the only difference now is they give you heel rest. So go to Micro Center, grab one, uh, enjoy uh, somebody's used one if they've decided to get a new one. Uh, don't worry about maybe open box because I don't think you can really mess this up. So there you have it. The ultimate mini rig pedal slider for the win.